a bass geek here. And if your buzz bait's got a little hair on it, don't shave it. I'm about to show you why. That's right, geeks. I'm about to tell you about a buzz bait and it is fall. It is time to throw a buzz bait. This is probably one of the most versatile buzz baits that I've ever shown you. And that is the Harry Buzz from Big Daddy Baits. Let me show it to you. That's right, geeks. If you got a little hair on your buzz bait, don't shave it. I'm gonna show you something from Big Daddy Baits, and this is something that I really love. It is an extremely versatile buzz bait. And I'm gonna start with the obvious stuff. Now, I will tell you this. Look at what they've done. They've crimped the rivet for you, and so it's automatically got a nice squeal when it comes through the water. Now, something else you can do, you can make it clack because it'll hit the head. So you can take and bend this down or you can bend it just up a little bit to keep it from hitting the head and ride this bait lower. You can fish it all by itself. As you can see, it's got a little flash of boo in it or you can do this. Now you guys know one of my favorite things in the world to do is to put a menace crawl on and I'll put it on there just like this. Now, one of the keys is you want to make sure that this thing is nice and straight. We're going to come out about the third rib back if I can get my, if I can get my finger out the way right there. We're going to push it up on there, get it nice and straight. Now, I like it to be like this because that gives it a little more lift. You can also turn it sideways and have it paddling like a bait fish but I'm more concerned with the lift on this, even though this big old blade is gonna give you plenty of lift. But what I like about this, it really makes this hair poof out. And anytime you speed it up and slow it down just a little bit, or give it just a little twitch of the rod, that hair is really gonna, gonna flutter. It's gonna flow in the water. So it's really gonna draw you a bunch of strikes. Now, let me show you a few of my other favorite trailers to throw. So one of my other favorites is, of course, the tip toad. Guys, look at the action on this toad. I'm telling you, this is one of my favorite toads. It's got some of the best action, good flat legs. And you really want to get the most and the most lift uh, and, you know, present a little bigger profile. Well, this is absolutely going to be your ticket right here. So you can match it with white on white. And by the way, look how wide that head is so and it's even made with a keel as you can see so it helps it run true and it helps it run high in the water but a tiptoed by yum is one of my favorites and i'll tell you something that i love to put on is this color right here this is my snot rocket so it's still got that white belly it's a little dirtier white got that green top especially with the white one it looks great but also with this one, the black one. I'm telling you, you match these bad boys up and you have got a good time. Now, like I said, this is probably my favorite color in the tip toads. My favorite one to run. Just always wanna make sure you're coming straight out the back. Get it good and straight hair down and look at that bad boy and this is what the fish are going to see right here so we're going to leave that one on and i'll show you my rod reel and line setup all right geeks let's talk about rod reel and line setup for my buzz bait now this is the new tfo taction bass rods uh i don't know that they're in yet by the time this video comes out they're supposed to be here any time now but i will put a link to a rod that is very comparable and can do the same thing with no problem. Seven foot three, I like a longer rod, medium, heavy, fast action. As you can see, three eighths to one ounce. So this rod can do a little bit of everything. I like a little bit longer rod. Some guys like, like a seven foot, be a little more accurate when you're doing, you know, when you're putting it under stuff like that right there. You know, it takes a little bit of practice to be more accurate with a longer rod, but I do like that longer rod because it does help me start the bait quickly. Now, this is a 6, 8 to 1. This is a speed spool, uh, an LFS. I 
am going to replace this, I'm going to put a seven, probably a seven five. I mean, I like a high speed reel, but this one gets the job done. Now let's talk about line. If you're in dirtier water, you can get away with straight braid. I fish a lot of clear water, so I use mono. Generally 14 pound test, so I can get a nice long uh, cast on it. And, uh, you know, really I'll put a link to a good braid that I use, like the Trilene Smooth Casting by Berkeley is pretty good. Um, but there's several good monofilaments out there. Uh, like I said, if you're in dirtier water, you can use straight braid or even really over grass, if it's you know pretty heavy submerged grass, that uh, that braid's not going to hurt a thing. All right, let me show you how I fish this thing. So let's talk about tuning your buzz bait. Okay, there's a couple of little tweaks that you can make other than bending this up or bending it down so that it's clacking or that it's not. So if it's running to you, right? So if this bait is running to you and it's running off to your left. All you're gonna do is tweak this blade a little to the side and it'll, it should correct itself. Same if it's running off to your right, you'll tweak it a little to the right. You can overpower a buzz bait, you can reel it too fast and it's gonna to wanna to roll over. Two or three things to check though, even if it's rolling over at slow speed, make sure your trailer is straight. I always do recommend putting just a dab of glue to hold it in place so it's not twisting during the cast. The next thing is you can twist the body right here. You're not bending the blade out, okay, like you're tuning it. You're instead twisting the body just a hair. So you're taking the body and you're twisting. And a lot of times what happens is, is you're getting so much torque. Like I said, 90% of the time it's gonna be it's gonna be us anglers. It's gonna be a user error problem, right? But every once in a while, you can twist this body and get it to run correctly at a little higher speed. Now, always remember guys, during the cast, we have talked about this in multiple other videos, but when you're casting, you wanna stop with your thumb and lift the rod tip, and then just climb back down so you're in a good hook setting position, which is say that nine o'clock position. So now let's talk about setting the hook and fighting the fish on a buzz bait. The hook set is probably the one thing that causes people to hate a buzz bait more than anything. The key to a hook set is take a breath, okay? Just like any buzz bait, I know it can be exciting. I know buzz baits can really have that super explosion on them. One 1,000, set the hook. Fighting the fish, listen. Torque him in. Drag him in. You've got a lot of lead. You've got a big blade. Drag him, boat hop him. If your partner ain't ready, fish slap him upside his head. Put that bass in the boat with this bait because they have a lot of weight to torque it out, torque it loose from their mouth. So guys, make sure you pick up a buzz bait. This is absolutely one of my top five for October and November, believe it or not. Like I said, it depends on which part of the country you're fishing, but a buzz bait is the jig of top water. It is going to get you the big bite. And what's great about this little buzz bait is it's something that they haven't seen. You can poof it up to make it bigger or you can keep it streamlined to make it smaller. It's just incredibly versatile. You can make it quiet, you can make it loud. Great little buzz bait, one of my favorites. All right, questions, comments in the comment section below. You guys know that I love to talk about fishing with you. As always, like it if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe and make sure you ring that bell when, so that you get the notifications that these videos are coming out. 100% Watch Squad, guys. I'm telling you, I appreciate you so much. It is so important just for you guys to watch, and that's absolutely free. All right. As always, you geeks rock.